Hello guitar lovers on YouTube, this is Alex from HarleyGuitars.com and today I want to show you my newest uh, beauty and I ordered uh, Harley Benton SC550 Lemon Drop and you see it is right behind me so let's have a look and I found out some very interesting stuff already by looking at the packaging so oops I noticed here on, on this sticker label it says actually SC550 Paradise Flame so I'm really wondering why they relabeled that now they have relabeled it like Lemon Drop and so on and actually this one is not available in the store anymore so I hope this will be alright come on alright here it is so I really wondered what all the buzz is about with Harley Bentons and uh, so some of the uh, gurus or whatever uh, they are called uh, they, they bash um, Harley Bentons it's just not worth it it's too cheap and so on so this is like 249 euros at, at the moment and I'm really wondering if this is better than my Yamaha Pacifica which is actually more than this one so let's have a look mm, it's quite heavy okay so here's something to adjust the neck and since this is not available anymore on the store I uh, I hope it's, it's um, not broken or anything so so this is just right off the box as you have seen I just cut the plastic and so on and now look at that so this looks quite quite cool so here are these um, uh, strap locks which uh, should look a little bit different than the ones uh, in the other uh, reviews I've seen it's uh, a, a lemon drop has some some uh, some well I don't know how to call that um, looks it's different on both sides I don't really care I mean I would like to have it here a little bit more striped like on uh, on your right side um, strings look okay. Okay. So the Dario strings, it says. The the tuners are really looking like white. Um, it's not like those vintage style um, greenish tuners. The back looks looks really good to me actually I don't see any I don't see any um, pieces of wood I cannot cannot believe it it's one it's one piece so um, I will I will shoot a, a little bit more close-up video uh, later here's a slight um, black thingy under under uh, under the, the lacquer and um, you, you see some, some uh, small black points here as well it's curved the, the top it's not a flat one and the strings look look excellent and so far I like it I also like the, um, the grain of, of the neck um, it's probably one two three like three pieces I guess but I will show you later in, in a more close-up video so far I really like it so the knobs okay very smooth with a little um, they're not so so um, so easily to, to turn so I like I really like that so this is all like um, not not loose or uh, something 
looks very good to me. And um, so let's check if it's in tune and um, if the intonation is uh, all right. Okay, so now ha let's have a look if the intonation or the... Well, it's already... It's, it's really in tune, I can't believe it. Okay. This one is not in tune. So excellent, this was already right from the factory, it was in tune and it, just a little bit uh, corrections. So now let's uh, look at the intonation. Okay, so the lower E string and the G string need a little bit of adjustment, but yeah, just just a little bit. Even the G string is not it. Uh, you. Well, I just have to to uh, to check the uh, intonation of the of the lower E string a bit, but so far sounds good. And so I will now shoot a little bit more close up to to the guitar, so you can see a little bit of the of the curves here and so on. So um, I I once had another very cheap guitar and it was driving me crazy that that the frets here the fret ends were so sharp it was really unbelievable so this here is really nice and um yeah so let's have a look okay so let's check out the guitar in a little bit more detail so from the side you see that the, the knobs are quite close to the top. The binding looks really good. Here and there there's a little bit black spot on the top. It's inside the paint. And here you see a bigger blob within the, within the wood. And uh, so also if you if you noticed if you uh, rather depending on the angle it didn't look um, that the, the stripes were even but looking now close like this you see it's very nice also the the inlays are quite nice nicely done and the the frets are all polished up. Strings look excellent, like they were new. Haha. <laughs> and here you see the the tuners are not like the vintage greenish ones, but more like um, white, a little bit ebony white uh, uh, like. So it's a little bit uh, or like like egg uh, shells. I would say. You see here the nut should be made of bone. Looks okay to me. 
and you also see the action okay let's turn it around okay no so now let's have a look at the back and you need to check back with me uh, as well so I cannot see any cuts in here so there's the neck No, I cannot see any any cuts. So probably from this perspective, but no. So I don't see any cuts here. So let's check out the neck. Okay, so here you see now the, the neck joint and the the neck still has a has very nice grain. I, I really like it. And so I suspect here is the, the first cut. Then here's this this piece of very um, grainy wood. And there you see that's where the, the neck or the head is is uh, put on, on, on the neck. So yeah, looks good to me. Okay folks, so all in all I really like that guitar. I really love I want it. No, not I want it. I had to have zebra style pickups, okay? And this was one of the main reasons to buy this uh, guitar. Is it perfect? Is it flawless? No. But for the price and for this kind of look, I think this is a really great guitar. There are some black spots here in the paint and also a little bit uh, black spot on, on the neck and this kind of blackish thingy on on the triple A, quadruple A, gazillion A maple top. I don't care actually. Um, it, it looks great and um, so far everything looks very solid. The knobs uh, turn very very smooth, very nice. Everything looks to me it looks perfect and I'm a beginner, I'm a guitar padawan and so I couldn't I couldn't uh, be uh, long for, for more. I mean I really love it and I will, I will create um, also a blog post with pictures, closer pictures so you can really see the kind of flaws, flaws, right and um, yeah. So you can check it out yourself. I will try to to make a, a, a nice picture of the back because this is for me a one piece body. And also I will weigh it because I saw some comments. Hey, how much does it uh, does it weigh? Mine is way over four kilogram. And uh, another guy on the uh, forum said, no, mine is less than four kilo. So I'm really wondering if this is such a huge range I, I mean one kilo is it's it's quite a lot so I will weigh it and put it in in the in my blog post so you can you can see it there I will include it in this video as well as a short comment you can see it below and so all in all just from the look and from the quality I got out of the box I'm really blown away and um, 
I told you I'm a Padawan at the guitar, so I will check with a friend of mine who will let this beauty sing and I will make, or we will make another video for you to, to hear how it, how it sounds. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.